Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it and I promise to update daily. If you love this watch, you can see it and you can purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. And today we are discussing the remarkably prescient 2010 5000 piece limited edition stainless steel Tag Heuer Carrera 300 SLR dedicated to the Mercedes-Benz race car of the same name from the 1950s. This 2010 model was ahead of its time in many respects, kind of like the namesake car. You can see on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, the first prescient feature here was the use of a reasonably sized case. Rather than the gargantuan cases of the 2000s, here we saw a reduction to a reasonably contemporary 41 millimeters in steel. The timepiece 15.5 millimeters thick and lug to lug just under 50 millimeters at 49.4. I can recommend it for a wrist as small as 14 centimeters circumference and it has a 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs. So the timepiece is fairly universal in size and it doesn't look a little bit awkward the way some of the Grand Carrera models of the 2000s did. This one feels like it could have been released this year. Now jumping to the accessories, you can see the strap is a handsome piece, perforated, medium brown, slightly bolstered to give it body. You'll also note that it features a monotone stitch in a folded edge. It's redolent of the perforated driving gloves, steering wheels, interior upholstery, and even the straps of mid-century sports chronographs that would have been contemporary to the 300 SLR. The strap has a wonderful signal orange rubber inlay. So this rubber inlay, which looks a little bit like the signature color of Santoni straps from IWC, this is actually rubber to keep the oils, the moisture, and the grit of your skin separate from the leather of the strap to ensure long wearing durability. The buckle itself is one of several places on the watch you will see the Hoyer branding exclusively, not Tag Hoyer. That's another reason this watch was prescient. Even then, Tag's managers seem to understand that the Hoyer name carried more currency with collectors than the Tag name. So the timepiece features a steel deployment with twin trigger release for security. Both triggers must be depressed to open it up. It's all polished inside, which is a handsome refinement, unexpected. And you'll see how there is a minderless system. So you tuck the other side of the strap which you'll note features no perforations for sizing. You tuck it underneath the clasp body. Once it's underneath the clasp body, open it up one more time, the system essentially tucks and locks. So there's no need for strap minders on the other side and there's no excess length visible. In essence, it looks sort of like this in a more compact sense when it's strapped and sized down. A very clean look. The case is of high polish and you can see on the crown side there is an exclusively Hoyer branded crown and then vintage inspired pump style pushers. The signature Carrera lug since 1963, probably the design signature of Hoyer and later Tag Hoyer. Thrusting, sharp, angular, they give the visual strength and definition to the watch, but they're also handsomely integrated into the case band in a form follows function kind of aesthetic. The dial is another area in which this watch was ahead of its time as it employed a gradient fading from silver at its center to almost a brown bronze at its edge. In 2017, 18, and 19, gradient fade dials have become popular, so Hoyer was way ahead of the curve here. It's an upscale dial too with a flange outboard, a tachymeter scale so you can gauge the speed of a car, let's say a 300 SLR, over a kilometer or a mile, your choice because there are no units so you can choose whether it will be Imperial or SI. You'll also note that it's a handsome and symmetrical dial with a cruciform symmetry. You could split it both ways and it would be handsomely balanced. All applique indices, you can see it's a high grade dial, a metallic tinge that's wonderfully reflective. There's a crease down the center of the hour and minute hands to make them more visible and there's an orange varnish at the end of the chronograph seconds hand as well as the sub-register hands for minutes and hours. Hours. Appreciate the fact that the hands themselves for the sub-registers are beautifully black polished. And then you can see that the only overt branding on the dial side of the watch is the 300 SLR namesake just above Hoyer. The 300 SLR was a remarkable automobile. During the 1950s, it was both a race winner and a pace setter technologically. It featured direct injection, direct fuel injection, not just fuel injection like a 57 Corvette, but direct fuel injection like a 2002 Audi R8 Le Mans car. It also featured desmodromic valves, so valves actuated directly by the lobes on the cams. That's not something you're used to seeing on car engines, although you'll see it almost every modern Ducati engine. You can see it's a limited edition of 5,000 pieces, individually numbered. There's a lovely cross hatching behind that's a little bit like the grill mesh of the racing car. All of this water resistant down to 100 meters. Now the timepiece is powered by Tag Heuer Caliber 1887. And if you hear 1887 and think Seiko 6S37, you're absolutely correct. Because 
Hoyer did license that movement and build it in Switzerland as the 1887. If you ask me, that's the best of both worlds. You're getting a Swiss movement that's designed by Grand Seiko and Seiko. I don't see that as a loss in any way. It's an up-to-the-minute automatic chronograph caliber, 39 joules, 50-hour power reserve, 28,800 vibration per hour beat rate. It features both a column wheel and a vertical clutch, and the column wheel feel, here, have a listen is one of the sharpest and most positive I've experienced. The vertical clutch ensures there's no jump or stagger to the seconds hand when it commences, and you can leave the chronograph running full time. You have both a stop seconds function and a quick set function, so you could rapidly cycle the date. And of course, 100 meters water resistant and fully loomed and automatic. This is an all-arounder sports watch, not just a motorsports chronograph. See it and make it yours on the watch box. Tag Hoyer Carrera 300 SLR by night.